Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got a cow with some heel bulb separation. Well, that's a classic symptom of a common problem. So let's get started and you'll know right away what this is. So first things first, we're gonna get this foot trimmed up. Now you'll notice this medial claw, if you look real close, it's got a little bit of a corkscrew rotation to it. So when I trim this, you're gonna notice I'm gonna take off more toward the inside of the claw and less toward that outside wall. It's this corkscrew rotation that we see right now that has likely caused this separation. So how exactly does corkscrew rotation cause the heel to separate? Well, not directly. What actually happens is that rotation causes a white line defect. And what that means basically is that outside wall and that sole where they meet at that white line, that white line doesn't form correctly. So there's a imperfection in it. And when that imperfection in the white line is exposed to bacteria, or the bacteria is able to enter it, we end up with an infection or an abscess in there. And that abscess then ends up working its way out the top. And that is what causes that heel bulb to separate. So you know what that means now. We need to remove the area from this defect, that crack in that white line, all the way up and including that released part of that heel bulb area. So how do I know how much to remove? Well, if you look real close at that crack behind it, you'll see that there's a dark coloration behind that horn. That tells me that there's still more to remove here, more loose horn. If it's loose around the lesion site, we need to get that away. As I work here, you can see how that rounded tip and hook of that knife is able to work along the edge of that loose horn and lift it away as I cut.
So from here, you can get a good look at that lesion site. And even though this lesion itself is all healed up now, you'll notice that it's still soft to the touch. That means we need to get that other claw prepped and get a block on it. Because the lesion on this foot is already healed and there's new horn covering it up, there's no need for salicylic acid here. Just a quick spray down with some chlorhexidine will buzz any sharp edges off of that glue and this foot's ready to go down. That salicylic acid is really only used to kill the bacteria that cause digital dermatitis. There's really no, no risk for that on this foot. Now on the back foot, however, she did have some, which is why you're going to see a wrap there. But now as she leaves the chute, you can see that front foot She's walking pain-free with that block. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.